Today we'll play a horror game in VR, it's called Medicine VR. Um, we are the character Luca and there is a demonic uh, thing happening. We have to uh, finish an old ritual yeah? and we have a camera and yeah, when we take pictures we can see different dimensions and so on. It's really strange and there's a lot of puzzles and, and so on. And I can tell you this is not for, for children. It's, it's uh, really uh, tough and uh, <laughs> really spooky. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. I will show you some cool scenes. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo TV VR. Thank you to my sponsors, Voodoo's VR, Open on Events, Virtual Escape Area 1 and Virtual Reality Center Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay guys, welcome to the game. So I played a little bit on my German channel and I can already tell you they, the developers have uh, some work to do before the release, I would say. Because uh, they're, I mean the game itself is nice, it looks good. By the way, I play with the Pimax Crystal. Um, it looks really good and so on, but it's pretty glitchy to, to touch stuff and so on. For example, when I want to touch these drawers here, yeah. It, it goes back and it's, it's you have to find the correct spot to grab it and then yeah also uh, some areas are much too dark you don't see anything and uh, sometimes <clears throat> for example there was a statue with a cloth over it and you had to find the correct spot to remove it yeah that's pretty bad <clears throat> grandpa was just like that I, one nine six eight. Perhaps this is the code for for that. I'm I'm not sure. I, it could be. Wow. What, what what's Let's try one nine six eight. One nine six eight. Oh wait, that here, that's also a thing. Uh, I have to hold the controller pretty strange. Six, eight. Nope, that's not it. No. That's the wrong number. We have a camera here over our shoulder and we can take like a, some pictures and then we have to shake it. But still, I'm pretty sure we have to photograph something so that uh, we see the number of the code or so. There is no number. Perhaps we have to take a picture of this one. Oh no, it doesn't work. Perhaps of this. What was that sound? Let's see. No. So anywhere here around must be the code. Perhaps here. Look at this. It's so dark. You, you can't even see something. There's nothing. No. Do I even have the camera here? I, 
I mean, it's just too dark. You, you cannot really play because it's just too dark. Yeah. Oh, there. There's something. The fuck? There's again this statue. Why? Do we have it now? No. I don't even see something here. That's so weird. So obviously something is here. Wasn't there a door here? Wasn't there a door here? Yes, there was a door. We can photograph it again. I can hear strange sounds. No, there's... There were perhaps here? No. So obviously we need this code number. Uh, this is where we came from. I'm not sure if we have to go back or so. There must be any... Well, what's that? Oh! Is there, is there a number? Holy moly. Perhaps I have to take a picture? No. I, why on earth is that going black here? That sucks. So... I, I can't see it. I can't see it because the game is a huge problem. Whoa! What the heck? And it has a. What's going on here? I mean, there must be a number or so somewhere. No one had previously How do I have camera. to hold my head so that, I can, that the, the picture story. doesn't get black? Madison Hill killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. She was then fatally shot in the stomach by a police officer who had caught her in the act. And now, for the weather. Serial killer. Wait, there's something. Yeah, that's what I. You cannot touch it. You cannot touch it. Here. Oh, it's closed. It's. You. You need to find the correct spot to grab something, and that's pretty bad. Let's. Oh. It must be broken. It must be broken. Perhaps there is a number on this one. No. No, th this is not the right number, I mean. It also has a lot of performance problems right now. I, 
I don't... We, we can try to go back, perhaps. I won't be able to go back. I won't be able to go back, okay. It's so dark, it does... It, it's not fun, yeah? I mean, I, I want to see at least a little bit. Oh, there's a... there's... <coughs> What's that? Ha! Ha! Cannot reach that. I think that's one picture that I took. There's also nothing you can do. Perhaps I have to shoot a photograph through this one. Not really. So, the thing is, I'm pretty sure this is the number. 1968, but there is no other number. Or am I doing something wrong? Do I have to push any button or so? Guys, I, I have no idea. I must be honest, I, I don't know. But however, I, I don't want to play the game like that. It's just, it's too dark. It has a lot of performance problems. And also... Um, it's extremely glitchy. You have to find a correct spot to touch something and so on. That's uh, what I don't like. I will try the game again when it's uh, released, but they obviously they have a lot of stuff to do here. Yeah. So. It's all the same pictures here. Perhaps there's one other picture. No, not really. Not really. So and and I it could also be that here is something we have to but I don't know why the, the screen gets black when I move my head a little bit. I mean, I want to see what, what what's there, but the, the screen goes black, in, in a random way. That's I don't I don't really like that. So yeah, not what I want to play in this uh, situation. Yeah. So let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Yeah, Madison VR guys. So the developers have, have a lot of stuff to do until the release. I mean, the game has a lot of potential. I love these kind of games. I, I, I'm interested in the story and so on. But there are three things. The first thing is that uh, the, the, the it's too dark, yeah, in some scenes. Then uh, we have some performance problems, um, especially in some scenes. For example, when I stood in front of this hole in the, in the wall. And the, the most important thing is the controls. It's insane it's glitchy and whatever you when you want to grab some stuff you have to find the exact spot or so yeah and that's strange it's glitching around and uh, also for you know, when I put my head through that hole when I only move my head a little bit then the screen gets blacked out I don't know perhaps I don't see some hints because of that so it has potential, but it's a lot of work, still a lot of work. So I will try it again when the final version is out. And then I can tell you if they fixed some of that stuff. So I hope you liked the video. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.